This is pre-calculus part one, section 4.4, evaluating trig functions. Example two on page 503 and 504, trig functions of quadrantal angles. Um, the quadrantal angles are the quarter of the weight. Quad means four. So the four main angles are zero, 90, or pi over two, um, 180, or pi, and 270 and 3 pi over 2. Okay, so those are the four main angles. Um, now we are back on the unit circle for this. That's where the 1 is coming from because if you're on the unit circle, remember that the whole definition of that is that the radius is 1. So if your point is here at um, for 0 degrees, you didn't go anywhere. You're right here. So that R, um, I'm sorry, your X is 1, your Y is 0, so the tangent of that would be, um, remember it's y over x, so it's 0 over 1, which is still 0. The sine also would be 0 because it's that y value right there. Okay. Um, for part b, it wants to know for 90 degrees or pi over 2. And again, it doesn't matter which, sorry, which, um, if you're in radians or degrees, the answer is the same. For 90 degrees or pi over 2, same thing. Now your x is 0 because you're not going left or right. Your y is um, 1 because you're going up. So x is 0, y is 1. So the sine would be y over r, which is 1 over 1. Um, this The r value is how far did we go. We went 1. And the y value is 1. The tangent would be y over x, but this time x is 0, and we can't divide by 0. So that becomes undefined. Um, so really there is not a tangent for 90 degrees. Um, for 180, okay, so 180 is over here. Now we're going left 1, which is negative 1, and we're not going up or down, so that's 0. Now our radius, remember radius is always positive, so the radius is still 1, okay? Sine is your 0. 0 over 1 is fine. We can have 0 on the top. We just can't have it on the bottom like up here. And then tangent is y over x, which is 0 over negative 1, which is still 0, okay? So if you notice, we're either getting 0 or 1 or undefined, or we could also get negative 1 for some of these, okay? Part D, um, for 270, again, it's the Y that's negative 1 this time because we're going down, but X is still 0, um, and again, R is still positive 1, even though we're going down, R always is positive. So for 270, sine would be Y over R, which would be negative 1 over 1, so negative 1. For the tangent, again, we're going to have one, negative 1 over 0 because it's y over x. So you get negative 1 over 0, um, which is undefined. Okay, And if you put those in the calculator, um, if you put nine, the tangent of 90 or the tangent of 270 in the calculator, it'll give you an error message. Okay, so... Um, they asked you to find the cosine and the cosecant. Remember, cosecant is not the reciprocal of cosine. It's the reciprocal of the sine. Um, so for cosine, and if we're starting at 0, remember we're at the point 1, 0. So x is 1, y is 0. r is still 1. Notice for all of these, r is 1. So the cosine of 0. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, or x over r. In this case, they're both 1, so that's just 1. Cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine, so it would be hypotenuse over the opposite, or r over y, which gives us a 1 over 0, undefined. Okay. Um, for b, cosine of 90, x over r, here's 90, so... Um, the point is 0, 1 this time. So x is 0, r is still 1, so that's 0. And cosecant is op, um, hypotenuse over opposite, or r over y, so 1 over 1. Okay, so all you have to do is know that point 
and the radius. And you can always set these up. So for 180, our point is negative 1, 0, which means x is negative 1, y is 0, r is still 1. So x over r would be negative 1 over 1, or negative 1. r over y, the reciprocal of the sine, would be 1 over 0, which is undefined. For 270, your point is at 0, negative 1. Your r is still 1. So um, x over r would be 0 over 1, which is 0. That's allowed. And then um, for cosecant, the reciprocal of the sine would be r over y, which is 1 over negative 1 or just negative 1.